Authors, it's Dr. Judith Browse, and here's a couple of uh, writing tips for both the print and the ebook. That a lot of people think, well, I'll just do an ebook. Well, you're now going to appeal to the minority of people who are reading. Yes, a lot of people read ebooks, and, and, and especially a lot of people read ebooks in the fiction arena. But still, over 60% of all books sold are printed. So do the combo. And don't start with the ebook. Get the print done and make sure it's cleaned up with typos. And here's a hint. If you are writing with English spellings, like color, C-O-L-O-U-R, make sure you are consistent throughout your book with the same spelling. Otherwise, you may get slapped down. Amazon has something called, and it comes up with ebooks quite a bit, the Kindle Quality Reports. When there is inconsistencies with spellings, when they find a lot of mistakes and typos, you could end up in Kindle jail. And that's not where you want to be. You want to have it the best you can when you go out. So one of the things I, I love to put in front of a book, the author's note. This is from you, from you, um, to the reader. And that you can let them know that there's special spelling. You can let them know that there's variations. You can let them know that there's um, odd, oddball names in that. And that the bots, certainly on Amazon, will pick that up and will not do the slap down that has been hitting so many authors um, today. So that's one of the things you want to tune into. If you have something unusual about your book, spelling, um, oddball names, let people know up front, maybe give them a little, uh, you know, just a little snapshot of what they are. The bots on Amazon will pick that up and you won't get into trouble. I'm Judith Bryles. Make sure you share this tip with others and do a like and subscribe on our YouTube channel here.